<laughs> this is Trenton Golf and today we're at the Bunnyong Golf Course. It's a uh, very cold and brisk at morning so we're going to get straight into it. So anyone who's played golf for a little bit of time will be familiar with this strange feeling that's when you hit the ball right in the middle of the fairway at the last shot and the ball just disappears. Um, it's par 3, it's 160 odd metres. You missed the last shot you saw, it was dead straight and it's just gone. Gone. So we found the ghost ball. It uh, seriously plugged. So we're nearly halfway through the round, what are your thoughts so far? Um, it's, it's a lot of balls, there's, there's a lot of trees, I think I've found out every one of them. <laughs> um, I've lost two balls already, <laughs> nine holes, so uh, eight and a half, eight holes. So. Yeah. Um, no, look, it's, it's good fun, it's a challenge, it's very windy today, it's starting to get cold again. Yeah. Um, so, but no, I'll look, I'll, I'm having fun. Yeah, well, it's probably starting to show that this club's nearly 100 years old, and you can tell the way they used to design courses to make it challenging to the eye. So, like, yeah. um, when you're teeing up, you've really got to think about your shot because the, the way that they put the trees and the way that they shape the fairways, if you're like a kid or a slicer or if you're a hooker, you've really got to think about yeah. where you're putting it. Exactly. It's not like a modern course which is open and wide and long. Yeah. It's um, yeah, it's a really nice course so far. Yeah, I'm very, it. very tight fairways. I mean, notice even this one here. It opens up a bit up further, but it's nice and tight at the start. So. Yeah, it makes you think about it. Yeah, no, look, I bet I'm having fun. Yeah. Golf, who cares? Let's go. No, I've just realised this is actually a par five. So in Treadham Golf fashion, I've teed it up.
I've, I've actually haven't minded this course. It's um, I mean, I've been hitting terribly, especially the front line. Yeah. Um, but like it's narrow. If you had a low handicap, this would be a course you could actually have a ball. On. Yeah, well, something we thought we'd try new on our reviews. Is, um, we thought we'd sort of rate the course for someone who's a, a high handicapper, or a middle handicapper, or a low. And I'll put the results up on the side of the screen. But um, I think if you're a high handicapper, this course would be a lot of fun. Yeah. Sorry, low, sorry, low handicap. Yeah, low handicap. Yeah. Um, if you're a low handicap, yeah. you can you can hit some really we're, nice spots. We're probably middle of the range, and we've found a lot of trees, a lot of rough. Yeah. So if you're a, if you're a low handicapper, this this course would be a lot of fun because yeah. you, you have to challenge. You're thinking about different clubs off the tee. You know, you're not always hitting driver wedge, driver wedge. It's, it's like yeah. six iron or a um, three wheel hybrid or whatever. Yeah. If you're in middle of the range, it, it would still be great. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, but just expect to be out. In yeah. the trees a bit yeah. <laughs> like we were yeah um and if bring, bring some extra balls and if you're at the higher end um I, I still it's fun to play yeah definitely but it's just it might be a long day for you yeah. could be <laughs> but no, no look I've, i mean i've enjoyed this course I've, I've driven past here a few times when i've been working yeah and i've always looked if i don't i'd like to play here and i'm glad i have i've, I've really enjoyed the day yep again it's bloody freezing yeah, it's winter. <laughs> it's winter. It's cold. I can't really can't wait for summer. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> you got to wait ahead of you. Um, but it's yeah. No, look, I've had I've had a great day. Yeah, and even though I haven't been hit the ball well, we've still had fun, and hopefully it all looks good on video. Yeah, and and if you're in Melbourne or in the surrounding areas, get out here, support these little country golf courses because they need all this, all the support they can get. So, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we will see you next time. See ya. Bye.